I wanted that stupid dog to join me on my journey, but it didn't want to. Just decided it wanted to go and die. Oh, great. Sound like something's going on in the plaza. Oh, I'm a very important character. Well, let's have a look. We're gonna make progress happen by having this character follow us. I know Juniper's paying you. No, I don't go over there, Nishi. Just don't. Just don't even do it. Just don't even do it. Oh, there's Sharon. Can I just walk right by? I want to walk right by. I don't know what's going on over there. Oh, no. Nishi! Come here for a sec. No, Nishi, don't. It's a trap, man. No, don't go over there. No, look. This is obviously bad news. It's like, yeah, we see a bunch of gang members over there. Let's go over there. See what they got to say. I'm sure it's something very, uh... <laughs> very worth it. Very tantalizing. My name is... Blah, 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 blah. I'm here to, re to represent Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Oh no. <laughs> it's the ALF! No! <laughs> oh man. Hopefully it's not the ARM. They'll shoot us. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because coming we want to <laughs> we want to need each other <laughs> however is that really the truth have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth you know you're starting to sound a little bit like me just saying Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Yikes! I don't even know. I'm not a main character. I, I don't know what to think of this. Have an opinion other than no way. Please. For F's sake. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Revolver Ocelot. Pokemon are different from humans because they're animals. <laughs> they are living beings that contain unknown potential. Are you saying the human beings don't contain unknown potential? Alright, I'm gonna call BS on that one. Come on. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and learn a hell of a lot from, uh, from a snake. From an ant. From a bird. Maybe I'll learn how to fly. Never know, right? Tell me, what is our respectability towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? Yeah. Let's just leave the Pokemon as is, really. I mean, what would be considered liberation for Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Throw them into the wild where they can't fend for themselves, because it's not their natural habitat. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. So you want to segregate Pokemon from humans. Is that what you're saying? We're going to have to drink from different fountains now, because you say so. I don't know about that, buddy. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationships. Well, I can agree with one thing. Professor Juniper has some crazy relationships with Pokemon. Between Poke people and Pokemon. <laughs> and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. So, you are obviously going to do something weird and dastardly at some point. Uh, which kind of makes this whole thing about you imploring us to think about the relationship between people and Pokemon... Kind of makes it a little bit pointless, don't you think? When you're going to force us to, anyway? I'm assuming. I don't really have to know. 
to uh, to see the signs here. I mean, you have an entourage. You have a fucking you have a set of bodyguards that just follow you around in what appears to be night outfits. I don't even know why. Your team plasma. I think it's night. I don't even know. I I honestly don't even know. They look like knights. Just saying. <sighs> well, you all look really confused. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Call the cops? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Alright. Your name is Younger Man. Oh, look! A mysterious green-haired person. I'm sure they won't have any kind of influence on us whatsoever. I swear. Oh, they're still there. Good. Oh, they're coming over to talk to us. Even better. You're working for Juniper, aren't you? Your Pokemon. Just now. It was saying something. In that Pokeball. You know, because that's totally possible. Slow down. You talk... He's not even talking fast! What are you even talking about, Sharon? And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Well, in retrospect, Sharon, when Pokemon make noises, they could be talking. It's a type of communication. They're conveying some sort of feeling or emotion, I would assume. Yes, they're talking. Pumpkins. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. You know, when you live in a world where, I would say, 99.9% .9 of the people around you can't hear Pokemon and you're hearing voices in your head, it might not be Pokemon. Just saying. My name is N. Okay. Okay, your name is N. Let me just get my death note out real quick. And we'll take care of this situation right now. <laughs> my name is Sharon. And this is... Thank you. Thank you, Sharon, for sharing my name with strangers. I appreciate it. We were asked to complete the... Po oh, and you're just going to tell them what we're doing, too. Hey, by the way, we're going to be going to this town next. Hope you don't ambush us on the way and kidnap us and sell us for ransom. My my main goal is to become the champion, though. Sharon, when did you want to become the champion? When? At what point? The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to confide many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Probably not. Are any of us really happy this way? In a sense, society puts us in a Pokeball. Well, Nishi... Is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Alright, now you're being kind of weird. Stop touching me. No! Nishi, run! What's going on? Nishi! <laughs> Alright. Well, at least he only has one Pokemon. I mean, if he had more than one, I could say, Hey, guess what, jerk-off? You got more than one Pokemon in a Pokeball, whereas I have one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good example. Oh, cat! Oh! Oh, it's a cat! Mr. Kitty! Oh, I kind of want one of those. Oh, level 7, huh? Well, you know what? I got a Snivy over here. His name's Tetsu. You're about to find out. <laughs> You're about to find out, Mr. Kitty. Oh, we're both level 7, alright. 